everybody, it is Nicole from Yukiwi, back with another review video. Today we'll be reviewing the Chocola chalk marker set and their chalkboard that was kindly gifted to me. So let's not waste any time and hop right into that review. The price for the chalkboard on Amazon is $15.95 and on their website it is $16.95. On Amazon, the price for the chalk marker set is $23.95, and on their website, it is $25.95. The chalkboard comes in a cardboard box with doodles on the front. Inside, the chalkboard is wrapped in bubble wrap and comes with a white chalk marker. The chalk markers come in a small black box. On one side, it lists the colors and their names. On the back, there is a quick start guide on how to use the pens. And on the other side, there's information on which surfaces these work best on. Inside, there are 30 chalk markers as well as 8 labels with different shapes. The chalkboard is 15 by 12 inches tall with a leg on the back. The leg is attached by a chain, and I'm not sure if it's just my chalkboard, but the leg was slightly crooked. This didn't affect how it stands, but it's just something to take note of. It has feet at the bottom and a small tray to put the provided pen on. The chalk marker has a colored cap and a black barrel. On the barrel, there are instructions on how to start the ink flow in the markers. I have the bold tip set, which comes with a 6mm reversible tip. There is also a fine tip set available as well. To start the markers, it suggests that you shake the pen with the cap on and upright for 30 seconds. Then, remove the cap and press the tip multiple times to get the ink flowing. I found this works most of the time, and I often use this method for most chalk markers, no matter the brand. However, sometimes this causes the ink to flow a little bit too much, and it can come out runny. This is kind of a little bit of a game of chance. The colors provided in this set are vibrant and pretty true to their cap color. Some of the colors go on opaque, while others are a little bit more transparent. When cleaning, it does take a little bit of work to clean it off completely. I use a spray bottle filled with water and a rag, and it took a few sprays to get it completely clean. For the pros, I think the chalkboard is the perfect size to have displayed in your home. I display mine in my office, but I could see this being a really cute decor for a kitchen or another room. I like the color selection in the chalk marker set. The colors are bright and vibrant and show up well against the black chalkboard. And like I said earlier, I've been using this chalkboard for about a month now, and I just find it useful to have displayed because I like to write my to-do list on the board. As for the cons, I feel like the chalkboard could be sturdier if it had a wooden adjustment rather than the chain. If you lift it up, the back leg automatically falls away, and this is just a minor issue, but just something to consider if you want this to be more stable. And some of the chalk markers can be runny, but I found this is kind of common with any chalk markers and it's kind of a gamble. Usually I just write on my chalkboard when it's lying flat and then I let it dry before displaying to combat this. Overall, I really like both the chalk markers and the chalkboard. If you're looking for a larger color selection of chalk markers, then I would definitely recommend it. And as usual, the links to everything will be in the description. I hope you found this video useful or helpful in any way. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below.
And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified of when a new video comes out. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! From Chocola as well. <laughs>